Skyhoy Raw Panel Mode is our controllers working as a simple IP-based keyboard for your hardware or software application. I think it's a wonderful approach to integrating our universal broadcast controllers for your system, and that's what I will explain in this video. There are at least three benefits to using Raw Panel Mode. You implement the business logic, and that means you are in control of the result. Secondly, you can easily implement any and all our panels, present and future, and that is many more hardware options than you would ever want to offer yourself. Finally, you can get started right away, you just need a panel in your hand. Raw panel mode is different from how Skyhoy panels normally work. So, if you take a Skyhoy RCP, for instance, that controls a camera, you have to know the command set of the camera. For instance, when the iris joystick is moved, the panel will send a command like set iris to F8, and then the panel answers back, done, iris is now F8.0. If you take a vision mixer, for instance, selecting camera number three on a vision mixer would be a command like select input three for program bus or something like that. And the vision mixer answers back when it's done and the panel can now light up a button in red. In these cases, all the intelligence, the logic, is implemented in the Skyhoy controller. But if we take raw panel instead, and if a camera could talk raw panel, it would rather receive a message from the RCP like the fader has moved to a new position that could be position 734, and then the camera would translate this value into an f-stop on the lens. And the camera would then return a label like f8.0 to be written in the display on the RCP. And likewise, a vision mixing system could receive a message that a given button was pressed and would itself decide how to respond to that, like highlighting a button in red. In raw panel mode, the Skyhoy panel is normally set up as a TCP client that tries to connect to a TCP server that has a given IP address and so forth. This TCP server is your application, whether that is hardware or software. The port number we use is 9923 by default, but you can of course change that. And there is a simple handshake protocol to keep the connection alive also. Alternatively, the Skyhoy panel can work as a server instead. That means it's listening on port 9923. And in this mode, your system will be the TCP client that connects to the panel. And in that mode, the handshake is really optional, but the data exchange between the panel and the application is exactly the same. Skyhoy panel can also be discovered. So they can be found on the network using standard discovery methods. And that means your application will quickly be able to see which panels are available on the network. And not only will the panel tell you its IP address, it will also reveal its topology when you are connected. Basically, the panel will tell you how it looks and what features it has in terms of hardware components found on the panel. Stuff like the coordinates, their type and how they look and so forth. This information will let you build a universal graphical interface to associate your actions with triggers on the panel. And in this way, instantly, you'll support all Skyhoy panels, present and future. Button presses are the most fundamental trigger types you'll find on a panel. We call them binary triggers and they include inputs on a GPI box as well. In raw panel mode, a button would typically send a message like HWC hash 97 equals down and then a new line character over TCP to the system in the other end. So this is a way to say that hardware component number 97 has now been pressed down and the system in the other end may respond back with a command to highlight the button or set a given color. And then when the button is released again, a new message is returned to inform about the release. Pulses is another fundamental trigger type. They mostly come from encoders, which will send negative or positive pulses when they are turned. And again, depending on the system's response to encoder inputs, you can send back a color, or in this case, it's a set of values for the display. Displays are graphical monochrome OLED displays on Skyhoy controllers. So typically it's a 64 by 32 pixel dimension, but sometimes they are larger and in this case with the encoders they are typically 112 times 32 pixels.
And for these displays, you can send both a bitmap graphic or you can send simple ASCII text labels along with associated formatting. Four-way buttons is a special case of binary triggers. A four-way button sends a message with an extra digit that indicates the edge that was pressed. So if you press the upper edge of a four-way button, you will have the digit one. If the left edge is pressed, it will have the digit two. If the bottom and the right edges are pressed, then it's digits four and eight. It's entirely up to you if you want to use this information for anything or not. But think about it, the implications for building powerful tactile controls is simply amazing with four-way buttons. Another fundamental trigger type is absolute values coming out of sliders and T-bars. In Skyhoy controllers you receive these whenever a movement is detected that changes the value of the component above a certain threshold. In response to a movement of a slider, you might want to return a complex color value for an LED bar so that it indicates the position of the slider. When the component moves up, you'll see the LED bar follow along. LED bars has a number of modes ranging from showing the intensity to showing a green, yellow, red VU meter, which is useful if you have audio levels, for instance. The final fundamental trigger type is intensity components. And examples of intensity components include joysticks and a shuttle wheel that will fall back into a center position when you release them. If you take a 2D joystick as an example, it actually splits up into two distinct directions. You have the up, down and the left, right direction. So when you move the joystick up, it will report its intensity value as hardware component number 10, for instance, while if you move it left, it would report its horizontal dimension as hardware component 11. And when the joystick finally falls back into the center, the final value in both dimensions will be zero. Unlike other generic control panels, Skahoy RAW panels are made to cover the whole gamut of controls needed in broadcast, but they are still truly universal because almost everything is labeled with clear graphical OLED displays. And we have innovative features like our four-way buttons that give you the incredible flexibility to turn any button into an encoder, and with RGB backlight and multi-segment LED bars you can color code your panels and create anything from tally bars to VU meters. And the panels are all IP, they have power over Ethernet, they are designed and made in Denmark. We have many more resources on RAW panel already, and if you go to our support section on our website, you'll find links to manuals and videos and all the good stuff you need to get started with this exciting technology. Most importantly, if you are interested in becoming a technology partner with Skahoy so you can integrate your panels with your product, make sure to send me an email and I'll be happy to hear from you.